Wow, that song went way harder than I thought it would, would go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't expect the uh, the sirens there. Sorry about that. But yeah, how's everyone doing? Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. It is a Wednesday? Yeah, it's a Wednesday. So it's a Nico Wednesday. I would call it One Shot Wednesday. I don't know what, what a good acronym for it is going to be. But um, yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, get a better Twitch TV emote up here um, because I do have Nico Roomba <laughs> as like a gif here I just don't have it in the right size let me see if I can do this but yeah welcome everyone uh, we are in the uh, the refuge in uh, one shot so uh, yeah we've met a few people uh, we met everyone back in the Barrens and we met all the bird people in uh, <laughs> in the uh, the Glen and I like these bird people a lot. Like they're they're just like me for real, honestly. <laughs> like a, a bird person. It's all I, that's all I literally have to say. But yeah. Um, now we're in the uh, the barrens. We met some like plant fella. <laughs> um, what's up, Sans? How you doing? Some plant keeping fella. Because uh, like the sun's dying and like all we just need artificial lights for everything now. Um, the bird fellas are super gendered. They are. I want to draw them really bad. I, uh, I didn't get the chance to before today's stream, but I did draw the background here. Um, and also, hello, Photon, Sans, Anna, uh, Pitmaster, hello, Mantis, what's up, how you doing? I did draw this um, just on a fucking whim last night. I don't even know why I, dr I, I, dr I like, draw this, but um, yeah, there's the, uh, the refuge. I, I just thought the aesthetic was kind of cool, so I was like, hey, let me try to remake that in, uh, in Clip Studio. And let me tell you, if anyone has, like, a better way of doing this, let me know. But, like, making grids in, uh, in, like, paint tools is kind of a pain the fucking dick. Because you have to try and, like, make sure everything is, like, spaced properly. What I do is, like, I make a few squares and then just make sure that they, uh, you know, like, I, I make, like, a set of, like, four squares in a square. I guess four squares in, like, a square formation. And then just copy and paste it over each other just to make sure everything's uniform um but it, it's a it's a real pain in the ass i got some um i think i got some skills with it but i don't know it's hard <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking hard so yeah hope you like the art bird person sona when um what's funny about the bird people actually is um my redesign, actually. I have, I have like, a, a small sketchbook I'm using for, like, a redesign, potentially, uh, of my OC. Not too much different, but it does have something similar from these bird people. So when I saw them, I was like, oh, my God. Is that, like, is this fate or something? <laughs> it's the little, like, beak thing they've got on their heads. I'm kind of doing a similar thing with, like, a duck beak on top of my, like, little hat here. Um, as you can see, right here. Hello. I, I am alive. You thought this art was from the game? Yeah, I tried to, like, basically replicate it as much as possible. Sans, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm, a uh, pretty good at, I think, replicating styles, I feel like. Um... So I should do that more. I don't know. Maybe I should do some more pixel art, because I, I think I could re replicate pixel art styles a bit more, um, than I do right now, so... Yeah, I really want to upload this Roomba emote, because, like... Again, th th we have the Roomba GIF right here. I found it on, like, on, like, Google Images, but, like, it's not in Better Twitch TV. I don't know why. Like, no one's fucking uploaded it yet for some reason. You're a one-shot nerd in full deal. Hell yeah! I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me see if I can, uh, do this. So, let me just size this down. So, the width is that. There we go. Uh, whoa, that does not look correct. <laughs> oh god. Um, spoiler alert: resizing images is a little bit hard, especially when they're gifts. Let's see here. Uh, more space. Let's make a square. I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna try. See if we can do this. Get a get a bit of a Roomba going on for the stream. We did, uh, we did meet Roomba Nico last time. Uh, we had that moment, so... 
If you miss Nico Roomba, I guess uh, go back to the previous VOD. But yeah, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Happy, uh, happy Wednesday, of course. Uh, I, I am back at work, actually. Unfortunately, so uh, time is a little bit tight, but I, I still do try to make time for my streams because I like them. They're fun. Okay, I have the image now. Let me see if I can upload it. Let's see here. Uh, Nico spin. That'll be the emote code. This is an emote. I have to like provide justification for emotes on Better Twitch TV. This is an emote of the character Nico from One Shot spinning. <laughs> on a Roomba. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it uploads fine. Let's take a look here. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. So if you have better Twitch TV, you can use that now. It's a uh, Nico spin in the chat. Uh, and we have the, uh, the Nico cat face emote in my channel as well. So yeah, there we go. There we go. I got a... Uh, I, I guess it... It's working in some way. It might take a little bit of a second, but yeah, let's uh, let's start the game. Let's go. I'm really eager to explore more of the city, um, but we're gonna have to find our way around first. Like we we have to like fix an elevator or something. So let's do that first. It's gonna take a second probably to update, so you might have to refresh the chat a few times for that emote to show up. Where are you, uh, Nico? One shot. Where the hell did one shot go? Did it like delete itself from my library? There it is. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, get rid of the Roomba. That's right, we uh, we actually saved properly. Is that mom? I guess it is mom. Oh, pancakes! Oh, yo! <laughs> Oh, I want pancakes. Oh my god. I want pancakes real bad. Oh, he had... Nico get the pancake. Oh. Okay, so Nico likes pancakes. New lore. Good, good, good. David? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Aw, oh, simple birthday gifts. You just get some pancakes, right? I like that. I need to like start developing some headcanon for Nico. Cause like, I, I feel like I've known them in, in some capacity now. <laughs> I think I'm qualified. Anyone have any good Nico headcanon? <laughs> Cause people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? I kinda wanna say no. Just to see. Nico's gonna call me like weird because like oh, everyone has a birthday, right? Head cannon small? Yeah, Nico's very small. Yeah. No. I see. Makes sense since you're a god. <laughs> so do you like pancakes too? Oh, fuck yeah. Have you seen my pancakes, y'all? Oh my god. Me too! On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, so when I go to IHOP, right? Um, I IHOP has like their whole like endless pancakes thing, or at least they used to, I'm pretty sure. But, uh... I, I could never take advantage of that, ever. Like, I cannot shove more than like three pancakes, probably, in my mouth, you know? My stomach is very, very small. I'm a very, very small eater. <laughs> like, I feel bad when I'm at buffets, right? It's like, oh, there's all this food, but I can't fucking eat it because I'm just too full. And I don't want my stomach to hurt. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. What's up, Spike Gear? How you doing? Welcome. Hello, hello. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, noodle. oh, you got noodles too? Oh my god, you're living. How's one shot so far? We just started Split Gear, so you just, uh, you missed the dream of Nico uh, eating pancakes. So now we're talking about the pancakes. 
Oh, oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? I got way too many of them, as a matter of fact. They, uh, they smoke a bit too much when they're not supposed to. But yeah, I do. Oh, do they share your food with you? Or their food with you? Uh, I've never really done that, so no. <laughs> That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama make, take turns making food for the whole village each day. Oh, so it's a village. Okay. I guess that would make sense based on what we've seen in some of the dreams. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. It's like you. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, uh, speaking about helping out, we should probably go now. Oh. Oh, Nico worried. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's get out of here. I think I explored most of the uh, the left side here. I, I, I've been going up and then going left. I, I love this aesthetic in the game, like this whole city noir thing. It's, it's kind of like noir, but not really. It's more like red, I suppose. Ah, you. I'm losing so much time. I'm not even timing it anymore. I hate this. No ear? <laughs> it's noir. No IR. Okay, so we got some more corruption here. What are those squares? Anything going on here? I feel like I went down here last time, maybe not. Oh, what is oof. Oh, this ain't good, y'all. <laughs> this ain't this ain't good. Oh god. Hey, how's the volume? Is the volume good? Is everything sounding okay? Game sounds a little bit loud to me. I'm gonna turn it down one notch. Alright. Yeah. These squares are. Uh, literal corruption, I suppose. Uh, okay, we got some more uh, more buildings. I want to see like what's in all of these fucking buildings. I'm not gonna lie, like that's what I'm, I'm about. Who are you? What is this? It's an empty coffee tin. Okay. Milk and sugar. I like both. Do you eat raw sugar, Nico? Okay, here's my head cannon. Nico eats raw sugar out of the fucking bag, just like I used to do when I was a kid. <laughs> I, I can believe it. But not in coffee. Did anyone else just like eat raw ingredients when they were a kid? I had this like weird fucking disposition to do that. Um, I don't think I ate flour, but I definitely ate like just sugar and uh, chocolate chips. I suppose if that counts. You couldn't do that now. You think you get sick, Anna? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I fucking remember- <laughs> I remember going to fucking church, right? And like, th there's this like side building to the church building with like, uh, other stuff, right? And they have like, coffee there, like a coffee machine, and just like, bags of sugar. I fucking like- <laughs> I like- I like, tore open some of those like, sugar bags and just fucking... chugged that sh the sugar, basically. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me back in the day. Jesus. You used to love raw ramen blocks? Yo, I did too, Split Gear. And, um... To supplant that urge these days, I have, like, uh... I can get this, like, sort of, like... Ramen snack thing at H Mart. That's pretty good. I, I guess it's healthier, maybe? Okay, who are you? You look like someone from Valhalla. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because of the ground access elevators broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Is this guy me? Like, he's 
fucking got my hairstyle. Jesus. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Not the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. I wouldn't- I probably wouldn't go on the sky wells, I'm not gonna lie. Like, those gotta be, like, really tall, and they would definitely set off my, um, my fear of heights. Definitely. Until now, anyways. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. Yeah, see if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um... He, uh, didn't get it. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He just kind of rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out. He, uh, really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, if it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anyone? Anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you! Oh, how polite. How polite of both of them, honestly. They're both very polite. Good lads. Well, don't be afraid to ask if you do get hungry. I'll be happy to make something for you. Okay, cool. Now I want raw sugar. God damn it. What is wrong with me? Jesus. Oh, uh, okay. Nico, eat the raw sugar. Come on. Okay, so back into our inventory. Let's take a look here. So we have our light bulb, the sun, uh, the amber, the strange journal, the feather. Which we use to uh, to write something. I think we sign some uh, something. A tube of water, a water sample, a seed, a metal can. Oh yeah, the seed we got from Maze. That's right. Uh, the scissors and the novelty T-shirt. Hell yeah! <laughs> I herded Rams, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. What's up, Steels? How you doing? A spoonful of sugar, just like I used to eat back in the day. Mmm, fucking delicious. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna revert back into my primal state and just eat sugar bags. 24-7. Okay, that's it looks like around here for now. Let's go back. Hello? Oh yeah, okay, whatever. Yep. Alright, so I still need to find that button. Um, I think this is the entrance, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Oh no, it's not. What the fuck? Who are you? Look, I'm not gonna stop you, but I think a constant diet of sugar bags might be bad for your health. Yeah, just a little bit, probably. And your teeth. Now, just brush it real good. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's a small tree. Is this the, uh, the fucking clock from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really matter, mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then, how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Your time here is precious. Please, do cherish it. I will. Th thanks, clock person. Ooh, what is going on here? Oh, more robots, hell yeah. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. Okay. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. Okay, so we can use tape on something. Can we, like, snip a piece of tape? Oh, wait, hold on. What was that? If I cut off a piece of tape to keep it, it would just lose its stickiness. Okay, so Nico had the same idea, but it's not. 
Some kind of computer terminal. Oh, I'm running with scissors. Oh god, Nico, don't. Okay, robot time. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and... Uh, can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ugh, never mind. I am only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Okay. See you, robot. You were fucking useless. Thanks. <laughs> oh? Uh... Suspicious computer at the end of the hallway. I don't like it. <laughs> What's on this fucking computer? Oh god. Uh. You're gonna need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Expose it to the void? <laughs> what? Weird film, a transparent sheet filled with numbers. Okay. Uh. uh um. Sure, okay. <laughs> Alright then. I'm just trying to find 69, don't mind me. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to find. I see 96. Oh no, I see 69 down in the bottom there. Right here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Still clueless? Figures? You fucking noob. No, I think I'm good. What's up, Noop? How you doing? Noop, ever since, like... <laughs> ever since I've seen, I saw that chair fucking simulator game, it has not left my mind. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Dear fucking lord. Same it's wild. I, I, that's not gonna leave my mind for like a fucking like year, I swear to god. <laughs> It's so- I'm not playing the chair fucking game, no, I'm not. But it's- it's so fucking bizarre. <laughs> oh man. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind or some sort of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Screen, okay. Are those like crystals? Some sort of like engraving. A glow of glass tubes are set into the wall. They're high up. The what Photon says? Uh, look up chair fucking simulator on Steam. Or on Google. I, I think on Steam it's like censored. As a F asterisk C K I N G. Nixon tubes, that's right, yeah. I, I'm not like a, a tube connoisseur, but I, I do know about some tubes. You're a little tired today? Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. So, one shot's a good game for uh, for comfy vibes, I feel like. Until more concerning things happen. Like me getting stopped in my tracks. Wow. It's full of blood! No, I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. Yo. Oh, were you done? Oh, <laughs> oh were you done? I, th I thought I thought Nico just decided to stare at me for like five seconds there. Okay. Cool city. Look at that bridge. 
You found that MTG card you are talking about the other day? Yeah, hit me with it. Let's go. I gotta look at the cards. Alright. Let me see this. Tano's the toy maker. He has the nickname of Duck. In the war. Honestly, like some of these cards, like these card games, I just want to play or collect them just because of the card art. Like card art is really good, especially the Pokemon ones lately. Look at this fella. Making some like giant fucking beaked animal thing, looks like. Interesting. Dude seems passionate about his work. I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Alright. He makes robot copies of birds and beasts Pokemon you cast. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in my dreams a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> now you're gonna stare at me with those big old eyes. Okay. What about you, David? Where do you live? A city, a village, or someplace else? Uh. Do I want to answer this as myself or my lore self? I wonder. Because if it's myself, I live in a city, technically. Um. If it's lore me. I live on a floating island. <laughs> um, what kind of god do I want to be? I'm not sure. Do I want to be like IRL god or like PNG tuber god? Rescats, what's up? How you doing? Good to see ya. Flip a coin? Yeah, I'll flip a coin. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna flip a, uh, a USB drive. How about that? <laughs> Alright. If it's, um, okay, I, I do have multiple sides here, so if it lands on this face, it'll be the first one. If it lands on the side, it'll be the second. If it lands on the bottom, it'll be the third. So, let's flip it. That's the bottom. So someplace else. Something that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well, maybe not a ship. Can you imagine living in a, sh in a city like this, though? I think some people live on, like, cruise ships, I'm pretty sure. So that wouldn't be the most inaccurate answer for most pe for some people. Like, they fucking, um... They just fucking just, they just, like, go cruise ship hopping. I can't fucking imagine that kind of lifestyle. Too much movement, honestly. I should try to inject the USB and if it goes in right or not the first time instead of flipping. That's a good way to do it. Unfortunately, I know that the uh, the ports on this always have like, I, I gotta put like the, the, the slot on the top of the USB drive. It's a good idea though. I like it. And it says I don't get people who willing, willingly go on boats, what if you fall in the water? Yeah, I don't have, like, sea legs at all, honestly. <laughs> um, I do know how to swim, so that's good. But, um, I would rather not get motion sickness. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's my stance on boats and whatnot. I can't. It's kind of scary. But also really cool. Swimming is not my favorite thing in the world. Um, I think a part of that is probably because I used to swim competitively when I was really young, actually. So I would wake up at like 6 a.m., go to the local pool, um, do like really fast swimming for a little bit, and then go to school, right? And I just fucking hated that, y'all. I just, I just hated that. Waking up that early just to swim in, like, frigid cold water. Which... 
I would be down with in some cases, like if it's summer, but not in the fucking morning. No, thank you. Is this a loop? This might be a loop. You grew up with a pool, so it was nice leisure time, yeah. Yeah, if I grew up just like chilling with pools, then I think I'd, I'd be a lot more receptive to it. But, I don't know. I think I'd rather go to water parks than swim, honestly. Cause I don't, I don't float right either, Anna. Like something's, I, I don't know if I like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like floating incorrectly or some, or something like that. But I can't really just like stay afloat in the water. You love water parks, but you're, I always wanted to go to one. I've only like went to um. A few, like probably two water parks. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you were here before. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is a permitted access to the garden. Can I like show him it? Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by that plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the colonel. <laughs> colonel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Uh, no. Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Oh, thanks, bro. You stop going to water parks when you learn that. Yeah, people just piss in the yeah. They just piss in the water. That's like every like public water place. That's why they have the chlorine, you know, to like clean to like just disinfect the piss. <laughs> That's why. And it was forced to go on a water slide once, and you high key think you died on impact for a few seconds. You got isekai into like this world after like the water slide, <laughs> maybe. So here says there was this water park out where your dad lived that you used to go to when you would visit in the summer. Really good memories there. They had a water slide. You got some airtime. Oh, I couldn't do that. It's like your airtime. No, thank you. Please. <laughs> you have foot fungus at water parks. Oh God. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, luckily I've never had to deal with that. Um, but I don't want to, frankly. So, no, thank you. Noob's first water park experience involved being left by the daycare supervisor and crying until you puked? Oh no! <laughs> oh god! There's something fucking cursed about water parks, honestly. Like, the, despite the fact that I want to go to them, like, there's just some cursed energy to them. With, like, the way they look all chaotic and whatnot, right? Like, if, if you just, like, took out, like, the whole, like, um... The whole like flashy and like you know positive energy of like all the colors in the water park right it could pass as like a ritual site it could just do some cursed rituals in the water park right um like i don't, I don't know send people down slides to like sacrifice themselves <laughs> something like that Yeah, you have to change the bathrooms. Yeah, that always was fucking weird, Anna. <laughs> yeah. Even in, like, my local, um, like, um, community pool. I was never down with that. Time to put the seed in the planter. There is no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Uh, no. And I know who to talk to. For that. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you, you just you just see old man ass. Yeah, yeah, res cats. Right. You get used to the ass once you've been in there for a little bit, but it's it's still uh eh. I'd rather not. 
frankly. Hydroponic setup? You know it. But we've actually got soil to get, so let's get the soil. Oh, uh, where is this fella? Okay, you were a robot. See ya. I've, uh, I've been in these rooms uh, before. I did that at the end of last stream. Where's the Roomba? Oh, oh wait, hold on, Penguin. All right, listen up, y'all. Hello. <laughs> I need this. I need this just to like, put it in front of my front door. And when like someone walks in or myself, I just get jump scared by- Hello. By that. <laughs> Hello. That'd be a great hello and redeem sound effect. God, I should do that. Fuck. Let me write that down. <laughs> that sounds stupid enough for me to do. Oh wait, it's my uh my remodeling art on this paper. Shh, secret projects, y'all. Shh. I know you can't see anything, but. Hello, Limit! Wait, hold on. Since, since Limit's here, hold on. One, se <laughs> one second. I know Limit's a fan of penguins, so uh, ha have this penguin. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, Limit? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Roomba! Again, again, once is enough. Once is never enough. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> it's Roomba time. You're playing the uh, the AI. Um, what the, I fucking forgot the name already. The the Rogue AI Simulator game. Yeah, I uh I need to get that game. There's a game called a uh, Rogue AI Sim that just came out. Uh, me and the Limit have been looking at this game for a while. It's the sequel, I believe, uh, the spiritual successor, I guess, to a pretty old Flash game uh, that was called, I think, um, I'm an Insane Rogue AI. That was a really old Flash game. I'm not sure if anyone played it. Um, I actually didn't, but um, yeah, I played this like Rogue AI sim game, and it was pretty freaking fun. I got kind of addicted to it, so... My stream is in the future. Go check it out if you want to. It's 10 bucks. It's like a sort of a... Uh, got a lot of like resource management and uh, like funky base management stuff. Pretty unique game. I liked it. There's a demo that I think is probably available. I'm not sure if it still is. But... Is there a demo? Let me see. Oh no, there's no demo anymore. Okay. But I did play the demo uh, when they had it at like one of the next fests, and it was pretty fun. So, yeah, I don't know how I missed that one because like I was a flash game fucking crack addict back in the day. So I must have missed that particular flash game. I'm an insane rogue. A I'm an insane like rogue AI. That one. I love when John Roomba roomed over the room. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yup. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yup. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind by a plant lady. But the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about, yeah? Here, take this whole bag. Thanks! Go look at that seed now. So we got a bag of dirt. Yo, let's go. Alright. Can we do anything with this can? Let's see. Uh, the coffee grounds, though, could be good for the plants, actually. So, you might have to use that. I really like voicing Nico in this game, because I actually... Th to get the baby voice a little bit... It's empty? Oh, it says coffee grounds. Okay, it doesn't have any. Okay. But, uh... 
when I yeah, when I voice Nico in this, I kind of I I try to like take advantage of some like minor speech impediments that I have that I kind of try to mask usually when I stream to achieve the baby voice and like the uh, the inflection. It's actually kind of cool, honestly. It reminds me of like the uh, that one guy, Scatman John, who uh, basically used his stuttering to uh, to make music, basically. And the music fucking slaps. <laughs> it was one of my favorite things to listen to as a kid, honestly. It's always cool when you can use uh, something that might be perceived as negative about yourself in a good way. All right, dirt time. I hope this helps you grow, little seed. The seeds are slow, but it looks a little dry. Okay, so we need water. Can we use this? Good thinking, David. Water should help this seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Okay. So can we, like, get coffee grounds? I wonder. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Let me equip the can. Pick up the can. Scamman John's the best watching those- Yo, those Mario 64 videos? Yeah. Yeah, those are- those are classic shit. That was classic stuff. People making like uh, like Super Mario 64 like music videos over Scatman John's music. That is like... What, like... 2009 shit, I'm pretty sure? On YouTube? Those were the days. Those were the days when humor was simple. Everyone's gotta be all in bomb basket these days. <laughs> oh, uh. Alright, hold on. I can uh, probably warp. Let me see here. Oh, I can't warp inside though, never mind. <laughs> Bad idea. D doesn't one of the, um. I think one of the fellas, um, I forgot what their channel name was, but they still make like they still make like those meme -y, like Super Mario 64 videos, I'm pretty sure. Um, like SMG something. Was their channel? SMG64, I think. Yeah, SMG4. There we go. Yeah, yeah. SMG4. Yeah, they're still fucking at it. Which is great. I love, like, creators like that, um, like, SMG4 and, like, Ashens and stuff like that, who, like, just don't change their formula at all, because at all, it fucking works. I thought the, uh... What the coffee place was there? I guess not. I think it's down here, actually. They're using murder drone models now as well? Okay. <laughs> I haven't actually watched any of that in a while, but... Can I have coffee? Oh, sorry about the trash on the floor. I was gonna throw it out earlier, but... Then my co-workers caught on fire and I had to drop everything to help them. They're fine now, though. <laughs> it's a good thing fire doesn't hurt robots, huh? That's a little concerning. <laughs> A coffee machine! It's nearly full! Okay, milk and sugar. Hmm. Okay, so I can't get coffee here, I think. I don't see trash on the floor. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Alright, no getting coffee in the vial. Oh, it changed. Okay, so the can was the trash. I see. <laughs> Interesting.
All right. Oh, give me, we get some water. Hold on one second. I am like fucking parched. My throat feels fucking dry, so let's not have that happen. One second. You're more of a Mario Mario five four three two one person. I've never heard of them. Um, there were a few like old like like really fucking old like YTP creators. Um, like I think one called like Fleska Jerta or something that I remember. And one other that I can't really like put my finger on their name. Some really classic folks. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Sorry about that. They were the bloopers guy for you? Okay. Yeah, that was like a whole fucking genre at this point. <laughs> that was a whole freaking genre. Alright, so... We need something else for the plant. Hmm... What could we put in this can, I wonder? Made of aluminum says coffee grounds. Okay. Why not get more water? Plant Lady has a sink? I guess we could do that, yeah. I guess so. Oh, I'll go to bed just yet. I was thinking something to help it retain water, maybe. Some sort of, like, bedding. I don't think this gets, like, that complex, though. Like, we don't need to fucking know botany for this game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Imagine. Just extremely obtuse mechanics. <laughs> yes, you have, to, you have to know microbiology to play this game. Enjoy. Hi. Fill with plant clippings. Okay. It's a sink. Okay, no, uh, no water, I guess. Put some more in the tube, maybe. Let's see. All right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Okay. Some more water. All right. Um, have I gone down here? Hold on. Oh, no, I haven't. What is this? Okay, another coffee machine. It's very warm. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Avoid it. Holy shit. Fun fact, I didn't drink a single cup of coffee in college. A single fucking one. It's a photograph of the cafe. It looks like it was a busy day. A photograph of the house in the glen. Looks like it was taken when the people were still living in the ruins. So I drank mugs of coffee? I, I just didn't drink coffee. I didn't have ramen noodles either. I wasn't like your typical college kid. I just fucking studied. Oh, look at all this. College is when you start your coffee drinking. Noop. Yeah, that's basically like the gateway, I feel like. Um, but they just have coffee there, like in the dining hall. It's like, okay, well, might as well get some more energy in me so I can be at peak efficiency. Even though it just makes you fucking die later on in the day. The two of the sea missable item side quest of swords, you haven't missed any. Okay, okay, okay. I don't, like, coffee doesn't register with me. Um... I don't think caffeine works on me. It's not like I had caffeine and uh, like I got used to it or anything, but it just never fucking worked really. I don't know. And also my stomach hates coffee, so I, I can't really do that. My stomach hurts if I eat coffee or eat coffee, drink coffee. Yeah, imagine eating fucking coffee grounds. <laughs> Jesus, what am I talking about? 
You tried coffee at college and you hated it, Limit. Yeah. It's like... You usually don't like coffee, like, you know, just straight on, like, black coffee, right? And then you have to, like, get sugar and fucking milk to, like, you know, butter up the coffee so it tastes better, right? I don't know, it's just, it's too much effort. <laughs> Not really, but I, I'd rather just, like, have a cup of juice or something, honestly. Noobs like the taste, but being severely ADHD means it doesn't do a whole ton. Yeah, yeah, that too. It's a fridge. You get tea or you get coffee, you get caffeine from tea stands. Yeah, I'm a tea person too. Solidarity. I fucking love tea. Hey, Mara, what's up? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so we just, um, we're, we're still looking at the, uh, around the, the refuge here. We planted the seed. And now we're trying to, like, uh, you know, take care of the seed. The, uh, the kernel. To try and grow it, I suppose. That's where we are. Welcome, welcome. This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. Oh, you thief! Oh, Nico, you fucking thief! Come on. It's a fridge. Just a trash can. Wandering, gathering, and looking at everything in the environment. Don't forget that. Exploration is cool. It's a fridge. It's a fridge. It's a sink. It's a sink. Nico going around just examining everything, being awed by everything in the fucking world. <laughs> As included in the wandering, I got gotcha. you. Nothing for the bookshelf, really? Come on. What about this? A pile of large books. They look like phone books. Hey, yo, yellow pages? I remember when the yellow pages were a thing. My parents just ended up being, um, like, stoppers for, like, the cars in the garage. Like, you just put them down and, like, you know, once your car hits the yellow page book, that's when you're done. You can stop and close the garage door. <laughs> A photograph of the city skyline. A photograph of some buildings. Is that a TV person? You yanking on your scarf? What was that? A photograph of a factory. Some of the pages are dog-eared on this pile of books. A pile of large books. Hello. Hey there. Hello? You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Aw. Oh. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see her again. Hey there. Hello? Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like Arts and Crafts. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. Are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. What? Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's what it fucking was! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> That's good, actually. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. The coffee grounds and we needed the ground button? Oh, that's good. A simple button made from a coffee tin. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a RAM button, in, or a RAM magnet on this, too. I thought we had to find the button, but I guess not. We just fucking make it. Why not? <laughs> Also, I'm gonna stab this fella. Never mind, the scissors are gone. That's what you were saying, it was a wonderful idea, yeah. I just didn't think that pun was in my inventory. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. Okay. Just a trash can. Okay, so we have magnets now. Um... What the fuck will we use magnets for? 
Oh! The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm... It's holding together, just barely. I hope that's good enough. Oh, there we go! Magnetized question mark button? <laughs> you just stuck the fucking- oh my god. Yo, look at Nico of the ingenuity here. That's great. That's fucking awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. It looks like I can, un un I can unlock this door. Oh, okay. Nico is smart, not cow. What's up, Q? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Wait, was the was the penguin here? Hold on. <laughs> For all the newcomers, once again. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> that just amuses me so much. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello. Season the penguin. No, I will not. <laughs> the penguin is fucking amazing. I love him. Exhausted, honestly. Good stream to watch when you're exhausted. This game, definitely. Alright, so, button time. Hey. Oh, nice. Are those magnets? Uh, looks like they're a bit loose, but... Ah, well, go see if it works. Alright, let's hope this works. The button fits snugly, and, uh... I think I hear the machine powering on. <laughs> the face. <laughs> uh, the button completely fell apart. Hey, he tried. Oh. Well... Good effort, Nico. Good effort. Oh well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you tried. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> oh god damn it. All right. Hey, Steelzies, what's up? How you doing? Good to see ya. It was a shot, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright then. So we do have tape somewhere. I wonder if I can fix this. A tape dispenser. Oh, I can hold it together with tape. I should've done this in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I probably should've. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, Nico. You almost had it good. You almost, but... I don't blame you for the mistakes. This game is easily in your top 5 RPG Maker games of all time. Yeah, I'm in it. I'm like playing all the bangers, I feel like, for RPG Maker. Which is great. I'm loving these games. Yumaniki Eeb, this game. Other ones I've played. Yeah, I figured I could tape it before trying. Yeah, if, if, I, if I was a little smarter, I, I guess. <laughs> that was funny, though. Let's hope this works. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. Okay, that's... Hmm. That's, uh, I don't know what that was, but I guess we fixed it. <laughs> hmm. It's like we plugged in a fucking faulty USB drive or something. Dear Lord. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah. The square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. 
I guess we should go look for a code, David. Okay. Um... Well, there are numbers here. Hmm. I don't see anything... ...interesting about these numbers. What did he mean? Yeah! So, if- if they- we're talking about the void, right? Oh, sorry about that. Does that mean... I, s I swear to fucking god, if this idea works. Okay, give me one sec. I, s I swear to fucking god. Um. Nah, I don't think it's, ex it's, like, it's, it's as extreme as, like, closing the, uh, the DS lid, you know? Of, like, <laughs> of, of like, a, like, a DS game, right? Um. That was one thing you had to do if, like, the world ends with you. Uh, there was one particular enemy you had to close the DS screen for. But. I wonder if, uh, we just do a bit of this, cause out of view is the void, maybe? Like, like, like that, right? And, the fuck? What the, whoa, whoa, what? Okay, uh... Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> wow! That's cool. That's cool. What the? F how did they? F how did they program that? I guess window position, I suppose, based on resolution, maybe. Sorry, I always had to like tr with these like meta games. I always, have to, I always have to try to like program my brain through this one. But <laughs> wow, huh? You love the little tricks this game plays so much. It's really cool. Yeah. I feel like the dev, like, just, like, made a bunch of these experiments, right? Like, interacting with, like, the OS and, what and whatnot. And they're like, okay, let's put this in the game. <laughs> and I respect that. Alright, 63014. You had to do that in Zelda Phantom Hourglass, too? You did it! Yeah, you had to fucking do that. I remember that the, uh... That was for, like, one of the dungeons, I'm pretty sure, right? I, I don't remember that game too much, because it was honestly forgettable. But... I do remember having to do that for something. Yeah. That's so fucking cool. Oh fuck, I just closed OBS. <laughs> I just closed the OBS by accident. The uh I, I minimized it rather. And and that as well. There we go. Oh yeah, to copy a map. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, that's right. You just fucking stamp that shit. So that shows up now. Cool. Let's uh, let's water the plant first again. Let me go back. I'm not, I'm not really sure where that elevator is gonna take me just yet. So let's make sure this plant's okay. Hi. Here, you on my water? Hello again, Asaya. Do you need help? Uh, no. Off you go then. Off you go. Get it during water. But will that be enough? Oh, okay. So I guess no more water. Alright. Let's uh let's check out this elevator then. Let's go. You figure out the puzzle because your DS was running low on power split gear. So like you just you close the uh, the DS because like it was running low, right? 
And then when you open it back up, it like solved itself. <laughs> Can I help with anything? Anything at all? Being, also, being so unproductive for so long, it's really getting to me. Oh, that's a fucking mood. I think David and I got it, got it handled. What do you think, David? Tell him to use random codes or tell him to stand there. <laughs> yeah, why don't you try and do this, my dude? Let's go. Maybe you can just try out some numbers till you get it. All right, I suppose it's better than doing nothing. Let's see, zero, 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 zero. Access denied. Yep, gonna be here for a while. Zero, 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 one. Access denied. You aren't seriously doing this, are you? <laughs> what? Oh. Thanks, I guess, for being smart enough to What what if the password was zero 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 what no? Fuck. <laughs> zero zero one six. Access denied. Please make him stop. <laughs> uh, zero 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 two zero. Access denied. Please make him stop. Zero 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 two four. Access denied. Please make him stop. Zero, 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 two, nine. Oh my, oh my god. How far is this gonna go? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is it timed? Oh, it's timed, I think. Yeah, it's timed. So like, if it just wait, like three, eight right now, four, zero, I just spam it and it's still four, zero. And it's still four, two. So like, if I just stop, if I just wait right here, then, if I go back, it won't be 4-2, it'll be like sort of like 4-7, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I wonder, if I change my clock... <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Alright, let me adjust my date and time here. Let's go. Alright, turn it off. Uh, and then... Here we go. This might fucking break shit, so let's see. I don't- I don't think it's gonna affect the stream, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but who fucking knows? Alright, so... If we're going off seconds... Um... 63,014 seconds is equal to how many hours in minutes? Let's see. Um... Let's see here. All right, six, three, zero, one, four. That's 17 hours, 13, 30 minutes and 14 seconds. So I just changed this to a day later. Uh, so 17 hours from now will be uh three it'll be the sec it'll be the 12 here and then it'll be about 323 so 323 p.m yeah it's gonna fuck with my browser search it should be fine though okay okay so i changed it oh it's an internal clock i think oh fuck yeah, so he's still at 106. Okay, I'm gonna try something. So let me, um... Let me change the time back. Um... Okay, here we go. Let me go to sleep. Change the time, and then boot it back up. Let's see if that fucking works. <laughs> Let's see. We should get going now, David. Oh, I can't? Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess beds are one-time uses. Ah, damn, okay. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I wanted to try so badly. God damn it. It was probably easier to go off the internal clock than just to hit the system clock. But they would they would totally like 
do that shit, I feel like. Like, I feel like if you wait until that fucking time, you know, you can eventually go back and be like, hey, I actually got the fucking code. Here you go. <laughs> you know, once he hits like 63,014. That probably would happen. I, I really want to try that out. Shit. But I also, I also don't want to close the game because like Nico will be sad. <laughs> Ah, uh, just go to bed, come on! Fuck. Yeah, at least I'm playing the remake. I know what happens if, you, if you're not playing the remake, yeah. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> I'll figure it out at some point. Or... I wonder... Cheat Engine. wonder. <laughs> I'm going way too deep into this. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Yo, if the game's gonna be meta, I'm gonna be meta back. Let's fucking do it. Okay, it's gonna be tough to get, I think. But I just need to, uh... I need to see if it's using some sort of, like, timer? Or if it just... If it's doing the, uh... If it's doing the calculation on the spot, it's going to store a variable, or it will have a variable counting up from here. Okay, so greater than 180. Let's try that. The problem is I don't, I don't know how this is fucking stored. That's the problem. Uh, new scan, greater than... 187. Weird in 190. No, okay, it's not stored like that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I know when it's futile. Alright, let's get out of here. Six, three, one, four. What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works. You know what? I think, um... So I have a different computer I'll be back at, um... On Saturday, actually. So I could just literally, like... Start a different one-shot game and just get here and just wait. <laughs> so, like, by the time we get to next stream, we'll find out if that's the case. <laughs> Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from David, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyways, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. The computers had some slightly different dialogue. I guess if you went back to it, okay. Oh, hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot, you've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Eh, don't worry about it. Yo, metal box time. Oh, the fucking elevator music, come on. Quick, turn around so this, to see if he turns around too. Sure is taking a while. Uh-huh. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God themselves, this is awkward. Oh, maybe we could chat to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, uh, sure. Alright, David, should I... Oh, okay. Ask about his job, ask about the city, ask about the library, or resume awkward silence. 
Uh, we could bochi this. <laughs> just, just remain silent. Hmm. Nah, let's get some lore. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh... I fix lights, mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Ooh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But uh, lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So, until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright, David, should I... Ask about his job again? Nah, ask about the city. The city's very big. It's smaller than it looks. That's what they always say. Getting pretty crowded, too. First, there are the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff we saw just now. We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. Technology, maybe? Hmm. We're lucky only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good. This there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Okay. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so uh, you'll fit in fine. You and David. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Uh, right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, David. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. All right. I don't want to follow him. Maybe he uh, ended up somewhere. There's a lot of fucking lights here, Jesus. A street lamp. No wonder have, they have power problems. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, uh... Oh, hey, who are you? You uh, look like a robot, but not. Evening news, evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No? New theaters are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. There ain't no reploids just yet, at least. They're still very much robots. Alright. I wonder how big the city really is. What can we find out here? Can we find some, uh... Some cool museums, maybe? Hello, person. The library's up ahead. Thanks! Alright, we're not going there just yet. Who are you? When your world ends, it would be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away. What a fucking question to ask some random kid on the street. Jesus. <laughs> or I, maybe we were just like wandering into their conversation to themselves. To be honest, I'd rather the former. 
A quick death promises the least pain, don't you agree? Concern. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fair. Yeah, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm just- I'm just a kid. What- what is this? I don't need this in my life. <laughs> I got pancakes to eat. These, uh... These pathways are very fucking inefficient. <laughs> Jesus. It's off from the inside. Who planned this city? This is terrible. You gotta like walk around the... The fucking... You gotta walk in, a, in like a U-turn a to like get to that building? Come on. Oh, what is... Oh god, what is this? Oh no, I just... Oh god, I just brought Nico into the fucking shady alley. Oh Jesus. What's up, Sapphic? How you doing? Thanks for the 22 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. My, uh, my foot kind of hurts, but... I, I did run, so I guess that's to be expected. Hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. We're uh, bringing Nico into shady alleys now, apparently. Because we are a very, very good god that protects people. It's a trash bin. Oh, uh, the fuck? The fuck was that? Oh god. <laughs> Uh... David, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Ooh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, let's keep going. A bag full of trash. Gross. Got nothing in there. More alleys. Uh, this is sketchy as shit. I don't like this. Maybe there'll be friends here, like in Undertale, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a faded flyer. What's a Reiki Gigi? Don't worry about it. I, I won't worry about it. Don't want sits. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all perfectly fine. It's all perfectly okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. I don't, I don't know why I expect to find something in the trash, but I'm gonna keep looking. Ooh, okay, uh, Ram? What's a Ram imagery here? A uh, curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay. I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. Holy shit. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Yo! Where, where's the, the fucked up one? This one? Yeah, there we go. Yep, there he is. It's, uh... Good to see you, too. Bah. This chair doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word bah is written on its wool. That one isn't a ram. That one is... Re oh my fucking god. I'm done. I'm done. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me right now? God damn it. <laughs> really now, game? You wanna make some fucking OS jokes now? I I know I know this game is about the OS, but like what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Is that why it's called one shot? OS? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Uh, 
Ah. That joke at one out of zero. Yeah, that's that's a probably pretty accurate rating for it. Ow! Careful! If you touch a sh a, a, a a SRAM, you're in for a shock! A static shock! <laughs> Don't buy at me. <laughs> Fucking read only. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Random access versus read only in fucking SRAM too. <sighs> I just realized these are all memory things. If you don't know, random access memory—it's storing stuff for your computer. It's just in layman's terms. Uh, what is this? An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Oh right, it's almost lunch time. You like to stay for a nice cup of ramen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, man. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I'll pass. Stop, stop blocking the exits, I need to get the fuck out of here, Jesus. They're blocking the exits now, I can't leave. Oh. Okay. What was in order to that? So, we meet again. Hello? Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever-present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Okay. If rams wore shoes, they would have flip-flops. Stop. Stop. D just stop. Just, just fucking stop. <laughs> I, yeah, I get it. I, I fucking get it. Just stop. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Memory flip flops, yada yada. Just look it up on Google. Uh. I regret taking operating systems now in college because of this game. <laughs> I don't get it. I used to host the official Ram Club Wiki site. Swigger says, how did this guy get here? Did he take a bus? I'm gonna fucking ban you, I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus. But we kept having page faults due to Rams getting out of the server room. What? 404, Ram not found. I have no idea what any of that meant. I guess I said for my jokes. It can't be helped. They were quite bad. I got that one. Kitty face. Oh, is that it? I'm gonna pour some water on you, fucking kid. <laughs> The perfect button of me being annoyed and Nico being fucking clueless. I gotta like, <laughs> it's, it's like after we leave this room, I gotta teach, I gotta like teach my entire OS knowledge to Nico and they'll still be confused because they don't have the, uh, I don't think they know what a computer is <laughs> probably. So mm. that's gonna be a little tough. I, I am pretty good at explaining technical concepts, but that's gonna take a lot of explaining, a lot of it. Imagine going to a dark alleyway and instead of getting mugged, you get bad puns thrown at you until you leave. That's just the um the back of the computer science building in college. That's it. 
or one of the or one of the rooms inside it, because people are just there studying and going fucking insane. Hey, what's up, Toga Pichu? Good to see ya. You think he buys his breakfast at the cereal bar? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Damn it! What's up? Coming in with a pun like that. Good to see ya. Nico knows what the computer is. He's like five now. I guess so. Like I don't know. Like maybe like I mean, Nico knows what a computer looks like and I guess what the buttons are. But like maybe the more deeper concepts of how computers work. Probably not. Hope you've been doing well, Toka Pichu. It's been a bit. Good to see ya. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. <laughs> Hold on. Because I forgot to say hi to the, uh... Or bye to this fella here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. Well, that caused me, um... Psychic damage. Thanks. Is that a cat? Hello? Is that a cat? No, I mean... No, that, that, that up here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Is that a cat? That's a cat right there. No, that's a person? Nico hasn't de deconfirmed it. <laughs> I guess they have, but I still have my suspicions. Look at these cats. Oh! Cat! Meow! The heater bot, yeah. That's how the cats like it. You're well, you mostly work these days where it keeps you busy to chat since you moved to America. Oh, wow. But not busy enough to keep me from having background noise for streams. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Big move, huh? Damn. Meow. Oh, <laughs> Well, I mean, this guy just made the same joke as I did. Fuck. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Uh, me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect the lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got David to guide me. I see. It's warm here. Yeah. This was my original purpose. Watching cats? God, I wish that was my original purpose. Holy fuck, I'll take that. I take that as my last command, watching cats. Warmth. Ooh, it's a nice purpose. Ugh. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. David and I got stuff to do. I see. So, what did you find on your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna change his voice. Um, the, the robot's voice. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. It felt kinda bad. With robots, it is alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. And it wants to be a heater for a cat and said you are but a bed. A heated bed, maybe. I don't know. Cats like our body heat a lot. I know I generate a lot of fucking body heat. Jesus Christ. Can't have the goddamn covers on. <laughs> it's overheat. 
I gotta do that, like, thing where you stick one leg out of, like, the blanket, right? What was that cat image I had? One second, where was it? I, I had, like, a, a relevant image for this. For, like, sticking one leg out for uh, temperature regulation. Where is it? Where is it? No, that's Germa. Uh... Well, I guess that's a cat, too, maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, like like this right here. Someone called this like a chicken leg. This fucking cat, the leg here. <laughs> that was so funny. It was like a chicken leg. But yeah, this is what I do under the covers. I stick one fucking leg out while I'm like curled up at the side. Just to keep my uh, my body regulated. <laughs> Sticky he leg out, yes. You gotta have blanket too, yo. Let's go. I like fuzzy blankets a lot. I have like a fuzzy blanket that I've had since I was a fucking kid. I still use it. It's good shit. My dad wants to throw it out because it's like... Kind of like breaking apart, but... It still fucking works. I'll take it. Right. Well, you talk less than a robot that most... You talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe? Not many people frequent this area of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. Fuzziest rolls it does. Absolutely. I'll, I'll take fuzzy over any other feeling. Um, for blankets, at least. I have like a kind of fuzzy blanket back in my actual apartment, but it's not as fuzzy as this one. <laughs> this childhood blanket, it's just super fuzzy. I like it. It's, it's like fuzzy, it's also like kind of breaking apart, like I said, so it adds a bit of texture to it. <laughs> I kind of like it. You have been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering, though. Okay. Meow. Meow. I love these cats. Goodbye, cats. What's up here? What? Oh, this is a big fucking alleyway. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, I, th I thought it was a creature, it's just a trash bag. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that robot's fucked. Please, uh, approach! Ooh. Those squares again. Rip that robot. Ooh. Trash bags can be creatures too. The real creatures are bin chickens. Those guys are fucking creatures. With their long ass beaks designed to tear apart trash bags. An empty glass jar with a wire handle. A jar full of red glowing fluid. So that's their uh, lanterns in this area. The handle on this one looks broken. Big books. Oh, these are dictionaries. None of the words are underlined. Uh, most of the words are underlined. A frame photo of someone. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Oh, okay, so this is, uh, this is where that fellow lives. A lantern plant, that's cool. What is this? There's some big plastic discs in here. Was he just supposed to go in something? Wait, 
David, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Oh. Hey, they're actually pretty light. <laughs> All right, so we have some, oh, we have a lot of lenses, okay, huh. Concave, convex, thick lens, thin lens. Okay, I know what's going on here. We got some puzzles coming up, it looks like. Laser disc, I wish. <laughs> Empty coffee cups. God, I, when you just mentioning the word of laser, I fucking miss laser tag. I have like a huge hankering for laser tag these days. Um, I did laser tag like twice when I was a kid. I didn't. I didn't do it again. It was uh, mostly like a birdie, a birthday party thing. But I don't really hear too much about laser tag these days. Like, seems like it's kind of a uh, fallen out of style. You know. Like, for some reason, we, like, kind of degraded, like, um, like, what we do for, like, social events. I don't know if it's, like, being, like, in, like, a, you, you've become older thing, so you, like, have more boring activities, like, going to, like, bars and whatnot, instead of laser tag, but I just don't hear about it anymore. Laser tag stuff. I fucking wish I could, like, <laughs> if I, if I, if I have to go to, like, a work event, right, like, a work social, Forced socialization, as I call it. I'd rather be laser tagged in a fucking bar. Like, no thank you. <laughs> Let me shoot some fucking people with lasers. That sounds rad as hell. You never, you never play laser tag? It's hard, actually. It's really hard, Anna. I sucked complete ass at laser tag the two times I played it, but it was still fun. The best part was, like, trying to find the nook and crannies to hide in. I think Nico would like laser tag. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots with a Clover on it. Hmm. Okay. Some of the glass jars. A bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. A rusty metal garbage can. There's some broken glass in here. There's an empty coffee cup on the chair. Okay. All right, I'll keep this room in mind. I'm not sure if we have to do anything here, as I forget those uh those discs. But we'll see. Squidgear so played laser tag once as a kid, and one of the other kids cheated by they put their hand over the target thing. Yeah. So what you do is uh, if you haven't played laser tag, um, the way they used to do it, I'm not sure if they changed it, but you basically just like wear like a suit with a bunch of sensors, basically. Um, and then, you know, like, once a laser hits a sensor on your body, then you, that's like, that counts as getting hit. Um, so you can totally cheat by doing that. You just hold your hand over, like, the sensor, and it wouldn't register the shots against you. Hello? Was that a fox? Oh! Whoa! David, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Hello? Oh. Fox. It's time to play Tunic. I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But, can you promise me something? Huh? If... If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. Hmm. A way to return. It's gonna be a long-term note, I feel like. I'm just gonna write down that quote. Hmm. I wonder. Cat smiling. <laughs> There's no one here. That seems like a yeah. That seems like a mm, I I I thing for later. <laughs> Hmm. 
This island is kind of cool, actually. You got, like, we we, 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 we were able to explore a cool house. We got the ram party. There's, like, a tree with a fox. This island kind of rocks. Oh, what are you? Man, very practically designed robots, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> or fellas, I suppose. Are these all robots? They're not using, like, the robot dialogue. I guess they, uh... Maybe they're tamed robots, or maybe they're just people? I'm not sure. Hey, kid! They're people? Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. Just with, uh... You know... Headgear. <laughs> Lots of soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts! I'll pass. <laughs> what a pitch. That's literally their head? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's another possibility, too. Alright. What is this? Bread? This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish! I toasted the bread myself. Uh, I... I see. Yeah, yourself, literally. <laughs> I kind of like these guys. They're quirky. Oh, hey. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's uh, taking a while. I think it might be leaking. He looks busy. You can tell, huh? Leaking. A street lamp. Oh, okay. Show him a lens? I have a thick lens. Hey, isn't that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's what I thought. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, goodness gracious! Did the Messiah and literally God themselves rush through into my house? Oh, was that your? Uh... You heard me. It keeps happening. Sorry about breaking into your house. It didn't actually break anything, but. David said I should take these plastic discs for some reason. Should we put them back? It's okay. Keep them. I want to be able to fix that machine anyway. Hmm. Small hint there. Thanks for taking them off my hands, I guess. The lenses, that is. The scientists want me to fuse them to fix the camera in the photo booth, but... You can imagine how that went. The Messiah of Crime. I'm a crime god. Let's go. I'm just glad I didn't break anything. I'm the god of crime. I do crimes. I stab people. Allegedly. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh... Stand here. Oh, let's go inside. Ah. Ah, okay, so this is where we use them. That was pretty obvious, I guess. Hey, say cheese. It didn't do anything. Okay. There's a slide here. Looks like paper or something might come from out from it. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. Like the lenses? Okay, so there's an order to this. Which I'm probably gonna get wrong, but we'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I guess that wasn't the right combination, David. Can 
right now. We could we could get the uh, we could get the combination, but also I could also try this one more time to brute force it. Okay, no. All right. No sense doing that again. See? You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> this stance smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep. Still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. Fried candy? Ooh. Okay. It don't taste too bad, though. You want one? It's okay. Thank you. Fried... Fried candy? Would that work? I guess... Maybe? That would just burn the sugar, though. Like, it would fuck it up. That's what I'm thinking. Are, are you a water man? Or, like, pills? Are these pills? Hey, hey! Ready for you to blow your mind? No. Oh, but... <laughs> Sorry, kid. Actually, I do want to hear about it. Curiosity killed the cat. Eh? I'm not a cat. Okay, so... I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants go faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh. Th thanks? Don't thank me, go spread the word. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. You wonder why kind of candy it is? Because, like, gummy candy might be okay, but hard candy? No, hard candy would not fucking fry. Absolutely fucking not. Actually, I exaggerated. Uh, the effects of the pill wears off in, like, a week. What do you have to do is just take another pill. Ah, yes. Dependency. This is going to help so many people. And also make me rich and famous and cool. <laughs> Live your dreams, I guess, my dude. Okay, so we have a pill now. I want to, um... I'll go back and use that on the plant, probably. Before I forget, so let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, warp! Uh, back to the elevator. Oh, press the button, yep. Can we chat? What, what, what? Can, you, can you take off your hat, Nico? <laughs> can we see those cat ears? Uh huh. Yes. Oh. Is, is that all you said? Okay, I <laughs> said that's all you said. All right. They said yes. Take off the hat. Hi. Oh. Okay. There is no meme. Take off your hat. Alright, uh, so I guess I need to put the pill in the water. So, put the pill in the water? It is off really fast. Medicated water. Good thinking, David. The water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Ooh. Good luck, little plant. Okay, cool. So I guess that'll uh, be a thing later on. Extra moist water. Just, it's it's like... A, <laughs> I, I, yo, I put water in your water. Because it was cool. Okay, so that's gonna trigger at some point, probably. Yo, dog, I put water in your water to keep you from watering your... ...water holes.
Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I've been going for two hours. Let's do a bit more here. Honestly, not sure how much I have left of this, but probably quite a fair, a fair bit at least, because we still haven't been in the library. Fun fact: extra dense water exists in the scientific realm. It's got like extra atoms. Yeah. Um, there's also heavy water, which is a whole other thing. I'm pretty sure. I've got a fair bit left. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm taking this easy. Just chilling, vibing, as it were, with Nico. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Oh, oh, who's this dapper fella? Ah, <sighs> you're right. Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world of the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to David. After all, David helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Uh, yep, okay, yep, 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 yep. Heavy water implies the existence of other TF2 waters. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta play TF2 at some point. I, I barely have. Barely. Um, I did get it before I went free to play, so I do have, like, the, um, like, whatever stuff you get for that. Um... I just haven't really played it too much. I'm not sure why. I guess I wasn't really a shooter kind of guy back in the day, and I still kind of am not. But Splatoon has kind of opened the realm for me a little bit. Okay, let's head back to the uh, the other area. Yeah, there's a whole like there was a whole mess of like you know TF2 bots and whatnot. Things like that. Did I pass a door? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell was that? It's a big crack in the wall. I see a bunch of mice held together. Oh, but they scurried off. What? I hope they didn't think I was gonna eat them. The fuck? That was, that I didn't expect that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just a secret hole in the wall? Sans is like, huh? Yeah, that's like a really obtuse secret, I feel like. Oh great, there's gonna be hidden walls holes in the walls now. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I've been kind of just like staring ahead in the street a little bit. Not really looking for doors and whatnot. There we go. Oh, it's like a little, uh... A little aquarium, I guess? It's a big fish tank! Well, not an aquarium, like... A, a, a fish pet store, maybe? Oh, hey there! You have a lot of fish! Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. You guys should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Nope, no good forward to that water shortage. Me as a water man. With a fish. Inside of me. <laughs> what a fascinating character. So is it, like, how is this person sentient? Is, is he like the fish inside the fish tank? I guess so. It's a sink. 
It's a big fish tank. It's a huge fish tank. It's him, Salmon Mac. Salmon. <laughs> Get his ass. I don't think it's a salmon in there, but close enough. Yeah, I'm just now questioning it. Like, how are they, like, alive? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm wondering. Okay. The weird film still being weird? Yeah, okay. The answer, don't question it, yeah. It, it's the, um... The weird drugs, it's gotta be related to that, that people pedal around around here. I'm sure. Some sort of mysterious force. Some force of nature. As you were. Was there anything else here? Uh, there was that down there. But it just goes to a door, it looks like. And other things. Okay, hold your- hold your roll. Hold your roll. Oh, but it says me. Okay. What is this? I like the music. I like the piano. Ooh. Oh, wow. Lots of big buildings. A little scary. Oh, what the fuck? I guess you just go, go behind it. Okay. That's something to close the game, but <laughs> I don't know if I want to. <laughs> that's a, that's a little scary. That that action is very very scary in this game. <laughs> what could go wrong? What 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 could go wrong? What could to what could go wrong at all? I wonder. <laughs> What could go wrong? Boom. Alright! Well, Nico's fucking dead. Probably not. Nico! David? Are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. I think this went really dark. So dark the light bulb doesn't even light it. Mm, okay, never mind. Nico's annoyed again, yeah. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Interesting. You killed Nico, how could you? It looks like it unlocked this door. Oh, okay, so we're back here now. Okay, cool. So that's how we, uh, kind of loop around here. I didn't know this was the tower, Sand, so... Um... Yeah. I guess this is the tower. The tower, yeah. You know how fucking tall it is. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, head over here. Take a look. I still have to fix that camera too, so let's try to do that next if I can. This is kind of funky. Kind of funky. Oh, who are you? 
The luminescence index of the liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we gonna do? If the city runs out of light, well, I don't want to think about what happens then. How much of words are on the screen? I don't understand any of it. Out here busting Nico in the kneecap. I'm not gonna fucking. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hit Nico's kneecap. That's mean. What was that one gif I had? Of someone punching the Nico plush? I had that somewhere. Does Nico even have knees? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Probably? I need this plush so badly. Jesus. I need a lot of the one-shot stuff. Violence. <laughs> who, who could have done this? Who did this? <laughs> I can't believe it. Swigger says, doesn't the Nico push like sell it instantly? I I will I don't know. Like I, I haven't looked into uh when that's been in sale before. I I could imagine so. Because it's Nico. Halt! Please wait await oh, further instruction on the security test. Please speak to the door robot. They saw it in 30 minutes? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, next time that comes up, if anyone wants one, I got you. Locked. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Uh, huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Okay. Uh... Help? Um... How do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Okay, uh... So... Let's look around a little bit, I think, first. So we ordered some stuff on Fangamer a, while, a year or two ago, and they sent you a little art card of Nico putting the sun on the top of an Xmas tree. Oh, that's cute! I want to see that. Oh, spin? What are you spinning? It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This has this one has a robot in it, and it just wants to be able to tuck Nico into bed and give him a little smooch. Yeah. <laughs> That's why everyone wants it. They either want they either want the plush to like take very good care of it or like to do like a meme shit with it. That has to happen. You have your strunklies, right? And then like you just wanna like just put them in ridiculous fucking situations like uh like that. <laughs> And also this. And this. <laughs> the violence. It is real. <laughs> the violencia. You still gotta edit the Ruma video? You've done both, Ray? You got the flesh? You got a Roomba vid too? Let's go. That's yours as a cutter, yo. Let's go. Let's go. That's great. I I need it really, really bad for both purposes. I want to make the funny memes and also uh, just take very good care of it because Nico is precious. 
How many of those have I saved? I have about like seven, probably. <laughs> yeah. It may help you to go one car at a time, management. Okay. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Oh! If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Is it Mindstorm? Or... Not, not Mindstorm, uh, fucking... What was that called? Uh... The... Th there was a name for this kind of puzzle. Mastermind, thank you. Yeah, Mastermind. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. So you have, uh... Let's see... Four colors, okay. I'm gonna use shapes, because, like, I have flux on, and colors are weird right now, so... Uh, I had a Shreffers. I haven't played Mastermind in a very long time, but... Zero Light's correct. Oh, okay, so no, uh... It's Mastermind about this sort of, like, right position, wrong color thing, looks like. So none of them are yellow, or squares, rather. So, none of them are squares. Okay, one of them is a circle. So we've got one circle here. I'm really generous of the tries, actually. Three of them are uh, diamonds. So we got three diamonds. Which will make things a lot easier, actually. Cuts down the permutations. And we've got one triangle. I don't even have to try that. So we have one circle, three diamonds, and uh, one triangle. So triangle in the middle. Circle there, and then diamonds in the rest. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's fucking go! We're gaming, I'm a psychic right here. That's why they call me the god of this world. <laughs> you said you're singing on Twitter? Let's see here. Uh, this is by Laura Verdon. Uh, this is what, uh, this is what, uh, Splinker sent me, so this is the artist, but... Thank you for the, the <laughs> thank you for the first tries. That was pretty epic. <laughs> Holy hell. That's their uh, Twitter. I, this is a JPEG large. Get out of here. So here's the card that uh, Split Gear got sent. Uh, at some point when they bought fan gamer stuff, the Chrome just freeze. I think it just froze. Yeah. Oh great. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, Chrome just completely froze. So hold on. Google Chrome moment. Here we go. I have a mighty need for this. <laughs> Holy shit. That's real cute. It's Nico helping put up the tree. Oh. No trade it to me? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I'll let you know. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Access granted! What do you have to say to that, robot? The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. Turns around and it's a <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're... That's not good. Hello. My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... That, 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 dead robot noises. What am I gonna do? Poor robot. You shouldn't have stuck the USB drive in him, I told you. 
You can't just do that. We got buildings inside of buildings here. Jesus. <laughs> monitoring, monitoring. Ugh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. Might have to put off the water analysis project for now. And there's sure are a lot of computers here. And they look important too. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector A of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Okay, so the overall vibe is not good right now. Around here. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Is that a can? Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Silverpoint. Mm hmm. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Coffee? Who wants coffee? You want coffee? None of us have been sleeping very well in the light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots just last week and... She fell asleep. Oh jeez. It's a bookshelf. It's a shelf full of little machine- okay, yeah. Machine parts. Can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Oh, there's many ways. Let me tell you. <laughs> there's many ways to get that energy. Oh, he spin! Oh, spinny robot. I cannot stop spinning. It is a curse. I am cursed to spin for all eternity. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay... Takes away their parts? Ugh. Boop! We are waiting to be repaired. This one isn't active. What about you? So, robot lab fella, maybe? But not really a robot? Let's get a radio to me. This is so tedious. I missed the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. And all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of looks like a GameCube, yeah. But aren't you a robot? N no? I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, never mind. A robot! We should probably fix the robot repairing robots first. But the higher ups need these guys done first for some reason. Hmm. Some reason. Some unknown reason. Okay, so we, uh... Let me see here. <laughs> You're still a cat, Nico. <laughs> Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. 
They would help me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way on the other side of town. The fastest route is where you can take this is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but I think that's how we got here actually. Oh good. You should head back to that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you! The voices kind of meshed together there by accident. Whoops. Redscats is getting the feeling that they don't believe David's real. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like this little kid's, you know, imaginary friend. But no, they have this, Nico has the son, so... I think the, uh, the legend has been spread around the land. It's a bookshelf. It's a sparkly. Something is poking in from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have a ton of those. Thank you. The, t I, the voices are like blending. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. David, help me. Okay, okay, that's neat, buddy. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I imagine the NPCs are like. Yeah. They're just like, hey, that's cool, but fuck you. <laughs> so, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, oh, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Uh, kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build rods and never touch grass. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write out the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with, with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, more specifically, coding them. Yeah, coding's pretty stinky. I, I would- I would be inclined to agree. As a coder, it can be kind of stinky. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> These dudes built robots before planes, yeah. <laughs> pretty fucking crazy, but I can see it. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since he last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Oh? That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you? I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know. I even based her on myself so I know it, I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We want to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. 
A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, I tell you what! Rogue? But... She seems so nice when we talked! Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through her own, his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. Sensio, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that Amber, okay? I will. Hmm. Okay, so that's her story then. Silver's story. Interesting. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. <clears throat> Cliche, but true. Sorry about that. Alright, uh... I got glitter, I guess. The fucking tube of glitter? I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna use that for, but... Alright. Okay, does anyone know there's a bed around here? Um... Because I do want to end right now, but... I, I don't see a bed, so I don't want to just, like, leave Nico hanging here. <laughs> Hello, Earth to bed watch. The library has one? Oh, okay. I see. Nothing on this side of the city, huh? Man, I don't want to leave Nico just standing here. <laughs> it feels bad. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I can use the, uh... I probably can't use the upstairs bed anymore. Because I already fucking tried that, but... Um, let's, uh... Let's try. Yeah, if anything, we'll leave him with the heater bot, yeah. We'll leave Nico with the heater bot. Thanks for the bit. Thank you. The single bit. Mm-hmm. Are you thirsty, Nico? Because, like, damn, you've been, like, walking around with, like, no fucking food. Come on. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Anything? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Nope. All right, let me uh, let me just stop at the heater bot then. Seems like a good place. I gotta take care of Nico, you know. I gotta make sure they're they're good. Are you eventually gonna say something, Nico? Like in the elevator? I wonder. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but. Elevators are always awkward anyways. Not that I take them too much anymore. I, I don't... I'm usually a stairs person these days. Usually. Hi. You're good, thanks for asking though. Okay. Oh, you're pur- Oh, you purring! 
Oh, oh, that's a good purr noise. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and probably just stop here. Because it is it is getting late. I'm getting pretty tired. You can probably tell from my <laughs> from my voice acting, it's getting a bit more lazy. So yeah, um, cool. I'm actually just curious, so let me just stop and like reopen this. Let's see if it actually recognizes this as like an actual save point. David, let me know when you're back. Oh, okay. I don't know why this keeps happening. Okay, so Nico does not like that either, despite Heater Bot being here. I am gonna have to ditch you here though. I'm sorry, Nico. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, just you, you just won't use the upstairs bed. This is a skill issue, Nico. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. So yeah, interesting stuff. We'll be in the library next time, I think we play this. Uh, and that'll be uh, next week. Uh, next uh, Wednesday, as usual, probably. So yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by everyone. Thank you, thank you. Pretty cool one shot stream. I did like the city. I was excited for all of that and it was pretty cool. So hell yeah, that was cool stuff. Um, get some music up here for the uh, the end here. There we go. Yeah, so like I guess the robots. We finally met the researchers that sent out the robots, right? Um, they're all concerned about a bunch of shit, and like the world's falling apart apparently, <laughs> which is just fucking fantastic, isn't it? We got like glitchy particles, and the world just literally falling apart. We're running out of the light. Uh. Just the power of the city and things happen, things that seems to be the impetus for something really bad. Yeah, the cubes, the squares and whatnot. Yeah, split gear. Yeah. So I think uh, next time once we hit the library, uh things will be a bit more clear, maybe. Or at least we'll get some uh some progress here. So um yeah, so I think next time we'll uh we'll start by fixing the lens, uh the camera, just so I don't forget. And then we'll, uh, we'll go to the library, so. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, that was cool. Um, really cozy one-shot stream. That was a really good time. City's a nice place, they did the city here really well. Lots of eccentric characters, so. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay, uh, let me give you my schedule for this week, uh, so stick around for that. Uh. Let me do my usual outro thingy-majiggy. Uh, next stream is probably going to be on the weekend. Probably, probably. Uh, because I am, uh, let me get my schedule up one second. I do have an image here. Uh, this was a fun stream. This is on by. Thank you, everyone. This is cool. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, here's the schedule. There we go. Uh, okay, so next stream is going to be on Sunday for sure. Uh, maybe on Saturday I'll do something, but I'm not really sure because I have to, my flight's on Saturday. I'm literally going across the fucking country, so uh, that's a long flight. That's a long flight. I do have to start packing uh, tomorrow for that. So I do want to make sure I have time to just get everything together because I do have a lot to pack. So yeah, um, maybe something on Saturday, uh, but definitely on Sunday, we're going to do the big Yakuza uh, Kiwami 2 Majima Saga stream and then the uh, the super boss in the previous game, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1. So. Yeah, Big Yak is a stream on Sunday. I'll be at around uh, the afternoon, 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. So starting a bit earlier than uh, last stream, we did Yakuza. So we've got that, and then one shot will be back next uh, Wednesday. I will probably start doing, um, since I will be back in my apartment, I'll start doing one shot streams probably twice a week uh, starting next week. So we'll do a Wednesday, and then we'll probably do a another part of the day. Or another part of the week stream as well. Maybe Monday, actually. I might do a, I might do a one-shot stream on Monday because I do have the day off, actually. Uh, that might be a good idea. So uh, Monday uh, will probably be one-shot, actually. And then we'll do another one on Wednesday uh, of that week. So, yeah. I, want, I just want to play more one-shot. That's all it is. It's, <laughs> this is this is so cool. It's kind of got that vibe. Uh, one-shot. It It's giving me that, that whole vibe of, like, wonder about the world that, that I kind of got when I first played uh, Yimaniki as well. 
but in like sort of a whole a whole different sort of a, I guess a mood in a sense. It's like, oh, this is cool. Like, wow, <laughs> really cool stuff in this world. Like, cool characters, pretty interesting environment. Um, the city is really, really nice. And it's just fun to play. It's funny too, so. Yeah, thanks for stopping by for one shot. Thank you everyone once again. Um, and I will see you guys uh, on Sunday for sure, maybe on Saturday. And then uh, back here on Monday. Uh, the same time as we start today, definitely. I'm gonna keep it consistent for Monday. Um, I am gonna be sort of going from Eastern time to Pacific time uh, once I fly. So I'm, I'm gonna do my best to keep the streams running um, like sort of like 9 p.m. Eastern, but uh, I have to see how the schedule works out. So I'm gonna do my very best, but yeah. Uh, thank you again. Let me see if there's any art. Uh, let me see here. All right, I don't see art for today. And let me see if I can send you guys to someone else. Uh, by the way, I do have a Twitter. At the Luigi guy. If you are not following that just yet, I do send out my stream tweets there. Uh, and I also have a YouTube uh, full stream channel. I have to upload the previous one shot VOD and then this one probably. But those will be updated uh, once I get around to them. So, yeah. Cool stuff. Okay, uh, let me see who's live. Um, what a few people looks like? Let's take a look. So we're out for the raid. Let's go throw some ducks in the raid. Uh, raid message. Raid message. Raid message. We're going to keep doing these raid messages. Um, what should we do? I wonder. What emotes do I have? Let's take a look here. This guy doesn't know his own fucking emotes. SMH. Alright, let's do uh let's do a duck raid. Let's do this. Uh so if you have my violence emote, you can do this. I'm gonna do a duck army raid. If you don't have my emotes, you can just do the usual duck emoji. Just copy this uh these lines of uh, the chat here. And you should be good to go. But we're gonna go ahead and raid Ant Docs. I haven't been able to aid raid Ant Docs in a very long time, uh, just because of uh, UK schedule that they have. But yeah, Ant Docs is cool. I need to talk to them more. But yeah, they're playing um, Astral Ascent, which I believe is a, um, I think it's a Metroidvania, I'm pretty sure. I know it's a platformer. Oh, it's a roguelite. Okay, it's a roguelite action uh, platformer. Okay, okay. Looks well, pretty cool. I'll have to check it out. I'm gonna watch it for a bit, for sure. So yeah, say hi to Ant Docs. Yeah, Toka Peach's got the emotes. There we go. I got the Ant Docs emotes. Uh, go throw the duck army in the chat, and I will see you all uh, on Monday for one shot. Uh, Sunday for Yakuza, and uh, wherever, wherever else I see you for whatever else I'm doing. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. All right, bye bye. Um, again, thank you all for stopping by. Um, Thank you for keeping it chill. There was some shit that went down um, in sort of like an adjacent community that I, I kind of follow, but that happened and uh, I, I just, <laughs> I can't deal with drama, man. So thank you everyone for uh, being cool. I do really appreciate it. Um, I do like to think I foster like a sort of cool, chill community. So I, I do really appreciate you all for sticking around and keeping it cool. All right. So yeah, thank you again. Thank you. Have a good night. Um, take care of each other, take care of yourself, stay safe, uh, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, bye-bye.